Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and uh, I got something pretty cool to show you today. I'm working on my car, the bumper's actually loose, and uh, we're gonna try and do some plastic welding, but I've been doing a little bit of experimentation, and uh, we're gonna strengthen the weld up with some mesh. So uh, I tried out the method, and it seems to be working really well, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Here's what we have going on. This is my 08 Honda Fit and the bumper is loose. What happened was about a year ago I backed into my truck. I moved the truck to some odd spot so my son could play basketball. And uh, well, what happened here is the, the bumper is, the clip is broken off here. So there's nothing to hold this on and with the wind pressure blowing out it opens up when I drive. Now all these are supposed to lock in to these clips here but they're they're not holding in because this is not up tight enough. You know when it went to the body shop uh, they put a little piece of metal in here, but that metal is holding this down and that's not allowing these clips to actually engage. So what I'm going to do is, is try and build this thing up and I can't do it on the top because these won't work then. So I'm going to pull their metal out of there and I'm going to try and build up the bottom and weld that in. So that's what we're going to be doing. I was thinking about building this area out with uh, some super glue and baking soda, um, but I, I just don't know if it'll hold. And, um, you know, what I was thinking is if, if I could get a piece of plastic that goes from about here back, it would have to be underneath, like I said. Uh, I think that would give me more surface area and would actually bond better. Um, so I'm going to show you what I've been working on. So, uh, I'm, I'm using a lid from some coffee, and what this is, is a, a mesh tape. Uh, this stuff has a specific name. Um, I, I don't know offhand what it's called, but uh, I, I'll, uh, underneath the video in the description, I'll put a link to this product. Um, but, anyhow, what I've done is I've taken a piece of this I cut it off I plastic welded it on here and I used this mesh tape uh, this has like a fiberglass mesh that that's really strong and uh, I welded through it and then over top of it with a filler so I actually have this like flap just as a test on there and uh, you know here's needle nose pliers and you can see this is this is really strong and it's not coming apart. Um, so uh, I'm going to try and use a method like this to get that bonded up. First step here is just going to be to salvage some plastic out of here. So as I said, I'm just using this coffee can lid because it's not too thick and it's very pliable. I'm also going to cut a strip that I can use for filler plastic when I weld. Maybe I'll do two of these right away. It's always good to make your filler out of the same material that you're welding with. Next thing I want to do, I'm going to snip these ends and I have some sandpaper and I'm going to rough up both sides of this just so that it's ready to bond. I'm also going to clean up this area because it, it is painted over and I don't want to affect the paint on the outside. So I'm just going to be kind of careful. Okay, now I have my patch here, everything sanded. And I took out this uh, screw. This metal plate they put in there, I'm going to actually leave that in there. Um, hopefully it, it'll allow these to connect a little better. Um, I might try and bend these tabs down a little with some heat. Uh, but anyhow, 
we're going to take this thing and I'm just going to kind of eyeball it up here. Put a little bit of an angle on there like that. Cut this back. To do our welding, I'm going to be using this soldering station. I put on this flat tip. This thing comes with a bunch of different tips that you can use. And uh, it also has the heat gun. Um, so we may need to use that to straighten out our welds if, if things get warped a little bit. Before we begin, I'm going to take some brake cleaner and just clean this plastic to help forge a good bond. Alright, I think we're ready to go here. So, we're going to take this patch, stick it underneath here. I got a little putty I just stuck in there to hold that out. And we're just going to start by trying to tack this thing together. So we'll put a couple tacks going down. The bumper plastic is, it melts very easily. It's, a, it's an easy plastic to melt and weld. What's up, Bips? Trying to fix my car. <laughs> Remember how I broke my bumper? No. Remember I backed into my truck? Yeah. Last year? Yeah. Taking Bobby to the hospital? Yeah. Oh, that's how. Yeah. So but you didn't exactly know that you bumped into the truck. You just heard it. Yeah, I heard it, but then I kind of knew that I backed into it because I looked in my rear view mirror. Okay, so those tacks have set up. Now I'm going to put on this mesh tape. Stuff's really sticky. I'm going to pull my gloves. I think I'm going to even fold this under, can't hurt. And then what we want to do is actually weld right through this. Alright, so now we're going to go right through the tape and tack it on here again. Some of the tape will melt. which is fine, but those fiberglass mesh in there is actually holding. Some of the fibers are getting cut, but not all of them. Just trying to push this down. All right, now I'm gonna try and dig a little trench out of here. I'm gonna pull it down towards me. All right, so I let that cool down. It's pretty solid. And what's cool is the tape melts, but the fiber in the tape does not. Some of it gets burned, but some of it doesn't. This is the filler strip, and it's the matching plastic from the lid. And I'm just going to take this where I dug a ditch, and I'm just going to kind of run this on top for strength. So we'll melt this.
and just kind of fill it in. And I might come back with that heat gun. It's the uh, soldering kit has that heat gun. And that's a nice way, you know, if the plastic's warped, I might need to bend it a little bit. And all I'm doing is just kind of piling this on. This isn't hard to do. The plastic that the bumper's made out of is really a, a nice flexible plastic and it melts very easily. So it's pretty easy to work with and the uh, lid from this coffee can might be the same plastic. Seem to be bonding real nice. I'm trying to build it up here because this is where I need it to drill through. So I'm going to let this cool and uh, we'll see how stiff it is. Okay, so it's nice and hard. Right in here I got a little bit of a low spot, so I'm just going to fill this in. All right, guys, so I'm using the heat gun, and I'm heating up the area where these clips go in. If I can bend this tang down a little bit, um, it should grab on. So I'm just kind of heating up the sides. We'll get them warm. And then you push down a little bit. And that'll reshape it, and now it's angled down just a hair. I already did these three, and I think that'll really help it grab and click in. Okay, so now we're going to drill our hole. I've marked where it needs to go. It's actually pretty hard to tell. Because I have it built up pretty thick here. I'm just putting a block of wood under this. And we're going to try and drill in the right spot. Alright, we're going to try and screw this thing in. The screw is kind of on an odd angle. I could tell they did it with the tire off when they put that metal plate in. So hopefully we can get everything. Now I heard those click in pretty nicely. And I'm just really hoping this hole lines up. Yeah, I think we got it. Pretty happy with that. So here's a look at the final job. You can see uh, the bumpers in there, you know, nice and square or the way it should be, lined up nicely. And I can tell you that that thing is really in there. So, uh, I'm happy with the repair. I'm really surprised how strong that mesh tape really makes that plastic weld. Well guys, uh, I have the air conditioner but it's not on because I got the door open here and uh, if you take a look, flip you around here, it is hot in here. A lot of humidity and uh, I really like the air conditioner, so uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. You can give it a thumbs up, and uh, I'll put a link to the supplies I used in the video. I'm real impressed with the results, and I think if you did something like this, it would work out pretty well for you as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.